I have two watercolor brush sets that are both compatible with Procreate, Photoshop, and Affinity. And the question that I get asked most often is, what's the difference between the two? First up, they don't contain the same brushes and are completely different sets from one another. The master watercolor brush set was created first and then developed over the span of several years as I used it in my own work and continued to refine it and add to it as I went. It's a very extensive pack with over 200 elements. I like to think of this one as a complete watercolor studio as it contains a large amount of brushes plus effects like washes and splatters and resources like textures, swatches, and tutorials. The Ultimate Brush Toolbox watercolor was created as part of the much larger Ultimate Brush Toolbox collection. This collection is a huge set encompassing all types of media like oil, charcoal, gouache, and watercolor, among others. This collection can be purchased as a whole or in individual media packs. The watercolor set contains 34 brushes of various types. I consider this pack to be more of an essential set. It contains everything you need to paint watercolor, but doesn't include as many variations among brush types or the extra resources that the master watercolor set does. For example, the Ultimate Brush Toolbox watercolor might contain one or two of a certain brush type, whereas the master set might contain eight or more. You can think of them in this real life example. The Ultimate Brush Toolbox watercolor set might be compared to this small set of essential tools for painting. This is everything you need to create an incredible watercolor painting, and it's all part of your overall art studio of various media tools. The Master Watercolor Set is a much larger selection of tools and resources pertaining to watercolor. It's going to give you everything you need once again, but with the added bonus of greater selection among brush types and various resources. So which one do you choose? If you're a casual watercolor painter who likes to stick to a small selection of brushes, or if you paint with a lot of different digital media along with watercolor, I would recommend the Ultimate Brush Toolbox Watercolor Set or maybe grabbing the entire Ultimate Brush Toolbox collection. If watercolor is your thing and you paint a lot of digital work in a traditional style, or maybe you like to mix up your brush selection between paintings, giving you more variety, or maybe you just like the flexibility that additional resources provide, then I would recommend the Master Watercolor Set. This set is available in individual platforms or the Ultimate Edition, which includes all platforms plus a video tutorial. Now, what about additional products pertaining to watercolor? I've also created a couple of products that help to deliver a realistic look and feel to your digital paintings. The Ultimate Artifacts Toolbox watercolor is once again part of the much larger Ultimate Artifacts Toolbox. This is a sister product to the Ultimate Brush Toolbox and is a collection of 485 artifacts of various media types. You can place these in your paintings to add realism and abstract elements in your art. Just like the Ultimate Brush Toolbox, these can be purchased as a whole or in individual media sets. The Ultimate Canvas Creator Wet Media is a unique resource. It's part of the Ultimate Canvas Creator collection, and again, can be purchased as a whole or in individual sets. The Wet Media set contains a collection of 12 traditional watercolor surfaces to give you a very realistic look in your work. Each paper surface is built on a multi-layered file with paper grain and various watercolor textures. When you paint below these layers, it gives you an incredibly realistic look and feel. Now, if you're brand new to digital watercolor or you'd like to brush up on your essential skills, I've created a course called the Procreate Watercolor Masterclass. It includes 14 video lessons and a brush pack that you can use to follow along with the assignments and projects. I'll link the course in the description below along with all of the other resources and brush sets that I've mentioned. I hope this guide helps you to understand the differences between my digital watercolor products. Now, if you still have questions at all, feel free to reach out to me in the comments or via email. I'm always around and I'm always happy to help.